All right, guys, uh, we are looking at the Glacier. This is an Explorer, Mike. This is the 17RV Explorer. Okay. What makes this one unique compared this, to your competition? This one's really cool. It's got a hydraulic uh, chassis on it. Cool thing about the hydraulic chassis, too. With the hydraulic chassis, it gives the extra drawers, extra space here. Because the wheel wells are smaller. And this one's really cool because it's got a dream dinette. Right here, so you don't have any uh, pedestals. This is really nice. It's not kicking any uh, legs. The table itself just pushes straight down. Just makes up the bed. It's real cool. So you got a bed there. You got another bed that comes down there. Yeah, electric lift bed above here. So you sleep in there. This one, you got a bunk that flips down. The sofa that'll fold out to uh, for more sleeping. And you got a bathroom right here. Yep, full bathroom in the, in the front there. Full bath. So you got a shower, toilet. You get the whole nine yards right in there. Here's your kitchen. Uh, where's your fridge at? Right here's your fridge. Fridge, okay. What's the price point on this one, Mike? Uh, this one's $43,900. $43, yep. This one's got a big curbside window, which is really cool. Yeah, it is. Wow, well, uh, who's this made by? Where would guys find out more information is, if they want to? This is Glacier Manufacturing. Uh, Pleasureland RV sells them. You can locate any of one of our dealerships and we can help you out. Okay, is there a website? Yep, PleasurelandRV.com. PleasurelandRV.com. All right, thanks Mike, appreciate it. All right guys, we are going to St. Paul. We are going to be at the St. Paul Ice Fishing Show and this turned out to be such an amazing surprise, but we've got, the show was phenomenal and it was so packed and busy. We've got snow coming today. So what I want to find out from you guys is what has your weather been like? Because I'm looking out the window and this is January and I've got green freaking grass and no snow coverage. So I'm kind of pumped. We finally have snow coming, which means I get to get out and test some of this new equipment. I've got two new loaders I've never even driven. But so what's the weather like in your neck of the woods? Let me know in the comments down below, but this show is going to blow your mind. So much cool stuff we're going to be covering. So make sure you stick around and I got a special treat for you at the end of the video. So let's get on to the next hey guys, one. Guys, I'm with Chris and what's the name of the company? Polar Chris? Fox Outdoors. Polar Fox Outdoors. We make right? lightweight ice fishing houses. Okay. And this is our 20 foot, it's our most popular model. Okay. And what we've got is a house here that's only 2,500 pounds. It's a linear design in the layout. And the idea here is that we can get a lot of people into the fishing space, and we're sharing a live scope sonar system up onto screens throughout the whole length. So the main unit sits here. We're sharing it. So no matter where I'm fishing, I've got a lot of space. I've got a comfortable hole in front of me. And we're all seeing the same set of sonar. So when the guy down there misses the fish, I can sit down here and make fun of him and catch that fish when he's when he misses. <laughs> It, which is pretty cool. Our house is, though, it's all composite wall panels, acrylic windows, so we keep lightweight, durables. There's no wood anywhere in these houses. There's no steel frames. Um, it's, it's a very long-lasting, easy-to-take-care product. And then I'll spin you around to the back one more time. Something super unique for Polar Fox is we have this flip-up door. So our customers often are bringing an ATV with them on the ice. They can tow this trailer with that ATV. So we make a, a toy hollow version of this. Where we're unique, instead of a ramp door that drops down, we've got a door that flips up. So we get a bright, clean wall. When you're in your fishing, if you close this, you're gonna have a window to look out and a clean system instead of a dark wall, which is really cool. Now the bonus is we have an enclosure that goes all the way around, lock the seat for you so that you've got insulation and you can fish out here when you have a bigger group or you want to do some tip-up fishing back here or a bathroom space, adds on a ton of space to your fishing facility. Where do you guys find out more information on this one? PolarFoxOutdoors.com. Uh, Gary and I were two guys, we own it, you'll catch one of us, we'd love to tell you more. What does this unit go for? 33 grand for the base unit with you can rig garments and all kinds of other stuff. You can get it in the 40s if you want to put a lot of stuff into it. All right, thank you, thank sir. You. Appreciate your time. All right, guys, I'm with Kyle and you sell core. Yeah, we uh, we manufacture core ice fish houses. Okay. So our kind of trademark in the industry is we do everything out of composite panels. So we manufacture all the panels for the floors, the walls, the roof. Uh, and so we're a lighter weight, waterproof product. So we're typically 30% lighter than everybody else. Less energy to heat and cool, dead resistant. 
Uh, there's no organic materials, means no mold, no rot, no mildew. Um, what you'll see in this trailer, this is a new trailer for us, a 2025 model. So new technologies we've incorporated is we came up with a way to put laminates on composite material. So all of our cabinetry is made out of PVC. And now with the laminate, we have the ability to create basically thousands of different aesthetics, different looks and feels, depending on what the customer wants. Uh, this model here is uh, 8019. Um, so it's eight foot wide, 19 foot long, uh, three quarter bath. So you saw the shower in there with the laminate wall. Yeah. Um, refrigerator. It's got dual heating sources with the fireplace. Uh, Truma combi for the hot water and heating also. Yeah. And the back. So this is a queen electric lift bed over the top, yeah, and you got another queen underneath. Basically, yeah. So rollover full bed at the base in this model. So these will fold up. Kind of our common part of the market is we pair the power sports very well. So most everything we build is a toy hauler. So in this this model, you can put a tracked ATV. Our other models, you can fit tracked UTVs with a cab. What is the what does this uh, unit go for? This unit here at the six is around sixty four thousand. Uh, that's our show special. Retails around eighty three. Show special. And where do guys find out more information about yeah, these? Go to uh, core icecom or core rvcom You can learn all about core, what we do and how we do it. C O R E. Absolutely. All right. Core icecom Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm at the Nordic Lodge, yeah. right? And this is Jason. Yeah. How are you, Jason? Good, how are you? Good. Okay, so this is your flagship model? Yes. This is our 21-foot RV model. Um, our name of our company is, is uh, Nordic Lodge, and we're building these out of lightweight panels. It's an all-galvanized trailer, but the inside really has the wow factor. We got the fireplace in the back. We got twin TVs in here. Uh, we got this will fold out into a king size bed here in the back. We got a queen size bed up top. Got a nice 12 cubic foot bridge in here. We got bunks. Got a double well sink here. Nice stove. And then we had a nice bathroom here as well. Full what? water package and our, our fish houses are designed to be able to, to run water in the winter time. What does a unit like this go for? This unit goes for $59.9 and that includes air conditioning. I mean, there's really nothing that you'd need to add to this house besides what's already on it. It's pretty loaded from the factory. Where do you guys find out more information on your ice fishing houses? Go to nordiclodgerv.com or westriesmarine.com to check them out. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm with Chad, and you didn't take us into the Rod Father. Yeah, the Rod Father is an 8x16 hydraulic lift. A uh, lot of options in this one. It's got the 90 inch sidewalls, mile floor, cedar interior. Electric lift bed. Super nice. It comes down. We got the cabinets over the top to hide the bed when it's up. Drop that down, climb up in there to sleep for the night. So you got a queen up above? Is that a yep, queen? Yep, it's, it's a twin. Yeah, a, a twin? A full? Yep. A full, and then what, what's underneath it? Yep, so this is a 48 inch dinette. Um, the table that drops down makes a full bed down there as well. A full bed down sleep there. Up and down. Two bunks up front as well. So you can sleep. As long as everybody gets along, you can sleep six people in here. And then you got your. Porta potty. Just a basic bathroom up there. Just a basic bathroom. Got four drawers in the wheel well. A well lot so of cabinets in here. What does this unit go for? Show special right now is 29.8. Okay. Um, and if you... guys wanted more information on this unit, where would they go? Is there a website? Here? Yeah, icecastlefh.com. Ice Castle. Right to the F Ice Castle manufacturers. Icecastlefh.com. There you go. All right. Thank you, sir. Yep, thank you. All right, you guys, well, I wanted to do something a little different and show you guys all the different ice fishing houses. They all happen to be in one place. And I thought, wow, what a great opportunity to take you guys on a tour. So let me know what you think about going along for the ride and checking out all of those different ice fishing houses in today's video. But that's going to call it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed touring the show. There's a little overview of what it looks like from this end. But I will catch you guys on another one. God bless. Go get them, you guys. See you soon. So I said earlier that I wanted to do something kind of special for you guys and I kind of been thinking about doing this and uh, my buddy Dan from Tools in Action called me up and really 
the, I owe this whole thought process to him. He told me that I should start shooting live videos while I'm snow plowing. Bring you guys along for the ride like you're riding in the cab with us as we're going out. Now we have snow coming here this evening um, and we got snow coming all week long. So my question to you is, does a live video even interest you? Would you like to hang out in the cab for hours on end? And I, like I said, said to Dan, it'd have to be early in the journey because after you've been plowing for 20, 24 hours, you don't always make the most sense and you're not always the happiest person. You get tired, you get crabby. That's at least I do, but uh, I don't know how you guys are. Let me know if that's something that interests you, the live videos from inside the cab. Very cool beans. And that's all I got for you on this one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We will catch you guys on another one. All of the wild and weird stuff from the St. Paul Ice Fishing Show is coming at you right down the pipeline. And then we're going to get into snow plowing videos and we're going to get into tools and we're going to get into this and we're going to get into that. And, and you know what? While we're getting into stuff, I just want to give a special plug to this guy. Because you know what? This is pretty awesome. Miles of carvings. These flags are freaking phenomenal. And if you're a true patriot like me, well, stuff like that interests you. But that's all I got for you on this one. God bless. Go get him, you guys. We'll see you on another one.